Hi everyone and welcome to Code the Beginning. Today we're going to start the heart and soul of any programming language which are known as the functions. So without any further ado, why don't we get started? Now what are functions? A function is a set of statements that take inputs, do some specific computation and produces output. Wait a second, doesn't that sound same as the definition of a program? Yes it is. So we call the functions as sub-programs. And now why do we need functions? You can read all of this by pausing this video. I'm not going to read out all of them, I'll, just, I'll be just explaining it in the editor. Now comes the most important part that how would you create a function. So creating a function involves three steps. One is defining the function, second one is declaring the function and the third one is calling the function and inside defining the function we have four things to keep in mind that we need a return type so that we can tell the function that which kind of value it is going to return second one would be the function name for calling it and giving the compiler the data about the function so that we need a name identify name the third thing here is the parameter a parameter is a placeholder like if you need some values inside your function then we need a placeholder for that so that we can pass the values and the function body where the real computation is done. So these come under defining the function. Now we need to declare the function. So for declaring the function, we just mention the name and the type of the function to the compiler so that the compiler understands that we have declared a function. Now the most dependent and most important thing is calling the function. If you don't call the function, that means you don't use the function. So what is the use of the function then? So to use a function, you'll have to call that function to perform the defined task. So all of these would be better understood in the editor. I'll be telling you step by step. So first of all, let us look at the types of functions. So there are two types of function basically. First one are the library functions, which are built in functions like the printf and the scanf or some more. And the second one is the user defined functions, which are again of two types. User defined function means which are de defined by the user. And it has two types like the without parameters and the with parameters parameters as placeholders as I said. Now placeholder without parameters means we don't have any parameter and with parameters means we have parameters and those are of two types then that is known as the call by value and call by reference. I'll be explaining them in detail but for now think of as passing a variable a equals to 10 and passing the function a sum function a 10 that is known as the call by value and passing the function the address of 10 that is known as the call by reference. So let's get into our editor and I'll show you all of these. How to build the functions and how they work. Now as I've told you functions are also known as sub programs. So how do you start a program? For a normal program we use our header file and I'm going to include standard input output.h hdio and now as I told you there are three steps involved in creating a function. So the first step is declaration so first of all we need to declare our function in my case i'm just creating a function of void data type void means it is not going to return anything to us anything to the main program so void and a function name would be welcome that's it the declaration part is over wasn't it simple so let me tell you this name of the function is welcome this open close parenthesis tells us that this is a function and this is the data type of the function that it is going to return nothing that is void. I'm going to talk about the return type soon, all of the return types. So now after declaration, what we need, the second step is define. We need to define the function now and, and let us take our function. See there's no semicolon over here, we're going to continue. And the void welcome has only one line for me that is printf welcome user. Fine. And as I've told you, the first function or the method that is called by the operating system itself is the main function. No function is called by the compiler or the OS except the main function. So we definitely need to write the main method. Now here's our main method and in our main method suppose I don't have anything. 
we declared the function we defined the function now let us run this and see that the comp the compiler executes this or not see these are all comments these are by default ignored so let us run this see we don't have any output and why is that because we didn't call our function we haven't called it yet so let's call it so for calling it the way of calling it is known as by using function prototype and what does the prototype mean is just write the name of the function then the open and close parenthesis and the semicolon see this is how you define a function and how you use it inside the main let me run this and show you see we are getting welcome user what i meant to say here is that if you are not calling inside the main method if you are not calling the function inside the main method all of these are waste so this is the function declaration this is the function definition and this is how you call the function you can write here as calling so this is a small program so let me tell you how does the compiler executes it first of all as i told you the compiler by default gets in no matter how many functions you declare and define above or below the main function the program starts from the main function so it starts from the main gets inside it checks the prototype that we have a function see this name of the function and this open and close parenthesis tells the compiler that this is a function and the semicolon says that this is a prototype so altogether these three makes the function prototype so it jumps to wherever this is so first of all it checks that is it declared so yes it's declared now what is its definition now it comes inside its definition and then performs this task now for modern day compiler c compilers if you don't declare the function separately then also it works let me show you see it is working we are getting welcome user just no error because declaring a function is a good habit make this a habit but it's not that mandatory right now but defining and calling the function are the most important thing declaration is a good habit go with it like for the modern day compilers if you don't write this hash include standard input output also it will run see i have made it a comment and still it's running because the modern day compilers are having these included by default the hash stdio.h and the console input output.h and few more i don't know more about that but this is the function this is the welcome function now as i told you this is the return type of the function so what does this return type stands for this return type is nothing just the data type which the function is going to return to the main program so in this case the function welcome of returns a void that is it isn't returning anything so let me change one thing and let me show you that if it returns something then how to how do we store that let me write return is the keyword see it is golden now it's not it's golden again so let me write return 10 and the semicolon so now what happens is whenever this function welcome will be called it will return 10 to the main function if we are calling inside the main it will return 10 so let us run this it will throw an error see we are not getting anything but see what is written here if you can if you can't see it i'm reading it return with a value in function returning void so what we did wrong here is we are returning 10 which is an integer and we are using what void so this is illegal so we are going to take int welcome and then return 10 so now if we are returning this 10 what we need to do is this now let's run this first see what is it saying is conflicting types for welcome welcome because previously I declared it as void. I declared it as void, but I am using it as int. So now it will be fine. See, we are not getting anything because we don't have a print statement. But in this case, if you want to take this 10 from this function, what we will do is we are going to make a variable as int result which will store the result from the welcome function and we are going to take result equals to welcome 
so whatever this welcome gives us it will print it here so first of all let us print once here see i change what is i just took a variable integer type that is result and i printed it directly i do we don't have a value inside this result but still i have printed it so it might print a zero or a garbage value and then inside the result value we stored the value returned from the welcome so in our case it is returning 10 so what should be the output here that should be 10 now let's save this and run this we are getting a 0 1 0 because i haven't used a new line you can use a new line over here a zero first because we haven't assigned any value to that result and then we are assigning 10 to it that is return from the welcome function so this is how the return function works if in case if you are returning 10.0 10.1 then you need to change this to float and this declaration also will be changed to float and it will be stored inside a variable which would be also float you got it what i meant to say now let me show you a program and this would be better understood because now the variation of functions come so what we have is we have four ways of using function the first one is with arguments and with return second one is with arguments but without return third one is without arguments with return and without arguments and without any return so in our case for the welcome as we as we did in the first program that was void welcome it comes under this without arguments without return and for the second one that is int welcome that is with sorry that is without arguments but with return because we are returning integer value but it doesn't have any arguments so let me show you example like I have a function named void add. I'm using, I'm declaring this void add over here. I'm defining this function over here like this. Like I'm taking, it's a small function of addition. You must have done it earlier. So this is a small program as we have done it earlier. And this time it's inside the function add inside. It's not inside the main. Now inside this main, just one thing we need to do. We need to call this add. So what does it do? we can directly jump over to this add and we can execute this code so this is how functions are useful you can write add 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 100 times over here. you can call the same code again and again so that is known as reducing code redundancy as in the slides it was written you must have paused and read so that is the same thing i'm explaining over here. so for this this is a function without any arguments and without any return because it is in void type and there aren't any arguments over here. What is this function doing is it is taking two variables a comma b and then it is asking the user to enter two numbers. It is being entered into a and b and then the sum is printed like a plus b. So it is directly printed and we need to just call that in the main function. Now suppose what we change over here is we change it to without arguments but with return type suppose we want to return the value so it is without arguments with return so in the, our case we don't have any argument but our return type would be int let us assume it's int making this int what we need to change over here is like we don't need this print anymore so we can take another variable c and then we can c equals to a plus b and then we can do return c so return c means whatever stored in c would be returned to the main function we need a variable to catch it inside the main function so for that let us assume another variable over here int result and this result will catch whatever is returned from this add so now let's save this and run this and this time we are not going to see any output 
let's enter 3 and 4 but there isn't any output because the sum is done we have done the sum we have stored it in c we have returned the c to this main function inside this result variable but we haven't printed it now let's run this again 3 plus 4 and this time we are getting result is 7 so this is a function the add function without arguments but with return type can i show you that without return part sorry i forgot but you can execute that code just print the result over here directly so it is all the things are going inside this program only but in our case in this with return type we are returning this again to the main function now whatever we can do whatever you want we can use this c value use this c value inside it to increment decrement subtract with some other thing multiply with some other value we can do it so that's why this return c is used so return c means this value whatever you get inside this c would be returned to the main function and it needs a variable to catch the return whatever you're getting from the function so now let me tell you what are these arguments as i told you arguments and while passing the function while calling the function it is known as parameters parameters means the placeholders these are just placeholders like for, in our case let us take int a comma int b so this function now the function signature as i told you this is the function signature is changed because we have two arguments inside it that is our integer variable a and an integer variable b this a and b have nothing to do inside the main function these are just used these are local variables inside this add so now we don't need this one because we are taking the parameters from the function call itself now for calling this function what we need is let me remove all of this and see this is fine for this program so now for using this int result we cannot use this add because we don't have the arguments inside it the required arguments suppose we save this and run this it will throw an error that too few arguments to function add because we need two arguments and we are not giving at least one also so what we need to do is we need to pass two values like three comma four so two integer values are passed inside this add function so now this 3 and 4 works as this a and b and now what to do with a and b that we need to add that and store into c and return this c so i'll save this and run this sorry i deleted this int c that's my mistake actually we need to put this int c over here so that the c is declared the c is something that we need so now c equals to a plus b now let's save this and run this see the result is 7 but this time it is not asking us for the numbers so what we can do is we can take two variables inside this main function like x and y or even a and b also can be used because this a and b is local inside this function only and the a and b you declare inside the main function would be local to this main function so it would be useful so you can take either a b x y any two variables and take the input from the user and then pass it from here like x and y and that will work as a and b and then this is executed and the result is printed so this is how the function sorry in this case it was with arguments i forgot to change so in this case we had our arguments inside it and with a return type and i forgot one thing that this one that is with arguments but without return let me show you with arguments and without return that is this isn't written anything void and now we are passing the arguments int a and int b now int c equals to a plus b and then what we are going to do is we don't need this return anymore because this void means that we are not going to return anything so what we need to do over here is we need to write printf and then result is or sum is whatever so now if this is printing the thing then we don't need this one and this is also integer type as we don't have a return statement so we no 
we don't need all of these now save this and now what we are doing is this function has no return type so it isn't returning anything so we don't need a variable to store that so we need to call that directly with passing the arguments 3 and 4 now save this and run this this is working we are getting the result as 7 now someone will say that you have made it like 7 every time so let's 3 plus 5 let's do it 3 plus 5 and run this so now this is 8 so this is simple so this is how functions work now in the last slide i told you one thing that using this arguments or parameters there are two types which are known as the call by value and the call by reference 